Hey everybody, Jay at Lock and Lube. Today we're talking about the Lock and Flate Air Chuck. The most common question we get on this uh, new product is open versus closed. Which one do I need? The bottom line is the open flow is always going to allow air to leak out. That's so that if you've got an inline gauge or regulator, there's no back pressure between the air chuck and the gauge so that it can zero out. On the closed flow, if you're plugging this straight into the airline, right in line with your compressor, you're probably looking for a closed flow air chuck. So let's get into it. We're gonna give you a little bit of a demonstration of both and cover the differences. We've got our airline connected into our compressor. Uh, pressure's regulated about 34 PSI. We'll do the tires in a minute. Right now, we've got our open flow log inflate air chuck. I'm gonna show you what happens when we put it directly in line to our airline with no gauge or trigger operated inflator that's gonna stop the airflow. Open flow, right? Allows the air to pass through. By contrast, here's the closed flow. Put the closed flow in here, no leaks. So, if you're plugging your air chuck directly in line to your compressor, to the pressurized air, you're gonna want a closed flow. So the closed flow means that if it's not engaged with a tire valve, it's gonna stop the airflow. So I plug it in here, no air comes out. Now, if I wanna use an open flow chuck, it's because I have an inline gauge or regulator that I'm working with. So here we've got our inflator deflator, and when I plug this in, We have our open flow chuck on the end. Now, if I plug this directly into my airline, air would be coming out like that at all times. Because I've got my trigger here, I can regulate when the air's on, when it's off. So, if you've got an inline regulator or a gauge, get yourself an open flow chuck. Otherwise, stick with the closed flow.